Welcome. I'll begin by interpreting the problem statement. So this involves a water jet. The speed is 30 feet per second. The mass flow rate is 35 pounds per second. And the turning angle is 30 degrees. We're told to neglect gravity and we're looking for the force of the water jet. So the push of the water jet on the vane, which would look just like this. Let me connect this to what I already know. When I see pounds mass, I know I'm going to need some unit conversions. And when I see a vein with a free liquid jet of water in air like this, I know the velocity at this section, let's call this section 1, will equal the velocity at this section, let's call this section 2. So I can write the velocity at 1 will equal the velocity at 2, and I should say the speed at these two sections. And I can prove this using the Bernoulli equation so long as I neglect gravity. And similarly, I can use continuity to prove that the mass flow rate at section 1 will equal the mass flow rate at section 2. When I see a water jet like this hitting a vein, I know that the water will put a force on the vein like that, and so there will need to be a support, which I'm showing here, to hold the vein stationary. So when I see a fluid jet hitting a vein, I think of the momentum equation. And in this case, the momentum outflow corresponds to this vector. The momentum inflow corresponds to this vector. And the sum of forces are going to represent the force right here associated with the support that is holding the vein stationary. So here's how I start my documentation. And I capture all the problem information. I assume steady state. This means that the properties are constant with time at each point in my control volume. I neglect the weight of the water and of the vein itself, and I assume inviscid flow so that the Bernoulli equation applies. My goal is the force of the water on the vein. I use vector notation to remind myself that this has both magnitude and direction. To reach my problem goal, I draw a free body diagram of the vein without the water. There's two forces acting on the vein, the force of the water on the vein from below and the force of the support required to hold the vein stationary from above. My goal is the force of the water on the vein, but what's easy to calculate is the force of the support holding the vein stationary. So I'm going to calculate F sub S and then use that to find my goal. To find the force of the support, I'm going to apply the momentum equation. The general form for steady flow is written here. To visualize forces, I draw a force diagram. So I sketch my control volume, which is shown in green. And the only force which acts on this is the force of the support. And in particular, where these fluid jets cross the control surface there and there, the pressure is zero gauge, so there's no pressure force there. So I've got my force diagram correct. To visualize the momentum flows, these terms, I sketch my momentum diagram, and there's one momentum outflow right here. I label that m dot v with an angle of 30 degrees, and one momentum inflow, m dot v1, entering the control volume. To apply the momentum equation, I write the momentum equation directly off the diagram. The force diagram here shows me there's one force, so I capture this force right here. The momentum diagram here shows me there's an outflow of momentum, so m dot v2. Notice in my equation, I'm choosing to write a vector equation. I can also choose scalar components. And lastly, the momentum diagram shows me there's a momentum inflow, so I capture that right here. And the equation says that momentum inflow is subtracted, so I subtract that vector. Notice the subtraction. Next, I expand the momentum terms using i hat and j hat. So there's the momentum outflow written in terms of the angle 30 degrees, cosine 30 and sine of 30. And there's the momentum inflow minus m dot v1 i hat. There's the problem goal. m dot is known. V2 is known, etc. And what I can see when I count equations and count unknowns, I have one equation and one unknown. The problem's cracked. 
I'm ready to solve for my goal. My plan is to calculate the force on the support with the momentum equation and then once I know the force on the support I'll multiply it by negative 1 and get the force of the water on the vein which is the problem goal. To calculate the force of the support I wrote the result from the momentum equation then I calculated m dot v notice this right here this is how I carry and cancel units this is essential for getting the correct result and the momentum flow works out to be 32.6 pounds force and I expect the units to be in pounds force because of dimensional homogeneity. The force of the support to hold the vein stationary is given right here. Then I multiply by minus 1 so this simply becomes a plus right here and this becomes a plus to get the final answer which is the force of the water on the vein and I can see that it's about 4 pounds horizontally and 16 pounds approximately upward. To check and see if these directions make sense, I made a quick sketch. Here's the horizontal component of the force, here's the vertical component, and it makes sense that the force of the water would push on the vein as I've shown it here. To solve the momentum equation, I can write one vector equation and work with this vector equation. I did that in this example. The other approach is to write equations for each scalar component and solve these equations. And I always do whatever's easiest on a given problem. The momentum equation has two forms, the linear momentum equation and the angular momentum equation and the linear momentum equation was used on this problem and it's useful when only forces are involved in the problem. When you have both forces and moments or torques then one would select the angular momentum equation. This completes the solution. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time.